All right, I'm here at the walls of Jericho hiking trail in Alabama. Probably about uh, an hour northeast of Huntsville. And I know that because the reason I'm here doing a little day hiking is because I have a hotel in Huntsville tonight because I have court in the morning. Nothing crazy. <laughs> um, I'm contesting a spinning ticket. It's a long story, but wish me well. So um, this will probably be about a seven mile trip, maybe a little over there and back to the walls of Jericho. And um, it rained a lot last night and early this morning. So I'm hoping maybe the waterfalls are pretty good down there. And uh, yeah, so day hiking today and then fighting injustice tomorrow. This should be fun. There's the little mountains through the trees. It's always a cool sight. And uh, here's the trail, obviously going down, way down in there. And as in life, this is the saying, what goes up must come down. And hiking, what goes down must come up. <laughs> Which means uh, I'll probably be flying down pretty easily. But then I'll have to climb all this back out on the way back to the truck. Shouldn't be too bad, honestly. But uh, we'll see. A little chilly. A little chillier than I anticipated. Might slip the jacket on my hand a little bit. But anyway, other than that, it's a beautiful day to be out in the woods. That's for sure. Okay. Just to clarify a little something, when I say contesting a speeding ticket, I understand the normal reaction would be, dude, you're speeding, man, get over it. But in December, I was on my way to Georgia to do some backpacking and uh, I got pulled over on the highway. Speed limit was 65. I got pulled over doing 66, but the officer, told me that I was in a school zone and asked if I didn't see those bright yellow flashing lights. I told him no, I didn't, which was the truth. That kind of bothered me because I was like, how the hell did I not see that? So anyway, after he had written me a ticket and left, and this was obviously right outside Huntsville as so I was driving through, um, it dawned on me. This was December 21st. The beginning of Christmas break was no school therefore was no lights so anyway court date was for February 23rd so I figured since I got to come down here and honor my good name <laughs> defend my good name <laughs> and my honor um might as well get a little cool hiking done while I'm in here uh, walls of Jericho it is day tripping alright this is the steepest grade I've seen so far and even this isn't that bad so um, obviously I'm not too far down and going down all is you know easy but so far, even though I've been going down, it's just the trail's cut in a way that it never is really very steep, at least so far. And I'm you know, probably a mile down into this three mile descent. You know, and there you can see that kind of goes down a pretty good bit. But if it continues at this kind of pace, then, you know, moderate, sure, but strenuous, climbing out not so sure especially with just carrying a super light day pack with just water and snacks really um yeah no backpack no tent no sleeping pads and sleeping bags and stuff like that um yeah i mean this really isn't really that bad so see if i'm still singing the same tune on my way back up 
But for people that are looking today, like this, oh, look at that. Nice little bench. Hello. I wouldn't worry too much about some of the views I've read on all trails saying how hard it is. I think you'd be just fine. Here's something. Big sink. It was labeled on the uh, little map I'm using. Hmm. Mini cave down there, maybe? Doing for a closer inspection. I don't think you have to worry about getting lost on the walls of Jericho Trail as well, which is, I follow all trails. So um, you know, I like to read the reviews and stuff before I hit out on something. Um, and I actually read a lot of the reviews on this. I don't know why I read so many, but uh, talks about the challenge of the climb and worries of getting lost. I don't know if those are old maybe, but these bright red, I mean, look, those are two just right there. They're not even hardly 10 feet apart. And it's pretty consistent. So, if you can't find the, well, the quite obvious trail, this is a popular route. I'm on a Monday morning in February, so I probably won't see that many people, but for what I understand, you know, weekends, especially in warmer weather, this is a cool place to go. There's another one. There's another one down the road, down the trail there, but the blazes are very consistent, so. Um, yeah, I think this would be a great little day hike for families, maybe even kids. I mean, this, for every little steep downhill I've gone down, I've had a much longer space like this where it's, I mean, it's flat. So, um, pretty easy trail. I know I'll have to come up it, but still, I mean, this isn't going to be hard. Should be a big reward at the end. And uh, yeah, great little day hiking place, it seems. Very cozy little campground. Right here by the water. Um, very pretty too. And there's a bridge right down there, so let's take a little walk. Walls of Jericho. Got away. Some really pretty water. And I doubt it's picking up, especially after that little running water there. But I can actually hear the faint roar of what I believe is a waterfall. So I'm hoping maybe the big one in the wall is a. Uh, Flowing pretty good after the heavy rain they got. But uh, we'll find that out together. It might not have been enough. Let's cross this bridge. Wow. Strong bridge. I am short, but this bridge is also tall. <laughs> it's like at my neck. down there.
looks like this is as far as I'm going to be able to go without getting my feet wet. So, uh, time to roll the pant legs up and be on the best route is probably to go right down there and then up the other side I'll find me a path. Maybe actually that little one right there. But I'll figure that out when I get here. So, uh, first, crossing this. When I get back to the car, I'm definitely going to turn on the little feet warmers. <laughs> it's cold. Okay, so this is the second little crossing after that little island. I actually came up a little bit, and I think I could do this on rocks. I use my trekking pole to steady me a little and just be quite cautious. There's a little bit of water, but not too bad. Easy go. Easy go. Choose using these rocks to try to not get my foot too wet, even though it's impossible to keep it completely dry. These rocks are very slippery. I don't think I'm going to film it when I cross it on the way back. But I'm almost there and I should be able to work my way back to the big fall at the back. Just don't fall at the end, Johnny. Don't fall at the end, boy. <laughs> that was a little close. Hey! And there's the path that was easy piece. Yeah, baby. The rain they had really got this dude flowing. So, uh, great time to come after a good rain. Now look, I'm not at the end yet. That little, little waterfall to the right. I'm going to climb up that and keep going down this path and uh, try to find the bigger waterfall at the very back. But I'm inside the walls, these tall walls on each side of Jericho. Pretty cool. And But it's, it's the water features that make this uh, trip so cool. And the, the trail, after you pass the cemetery, was uh, it's so fun. You know, it was real rocky and muddy, and you were going along the river. And then when you get here, I mean, this is great. So time to make my way up those... Uh, up that waterfall there and just keep pushing back. Here it is. Here's the big one. It is really flowing today. <laughs> That's pretty cool. I've actually seen pictures of people, you know, standing where, where obviously the pool is now, but standing way down there during the dry times. But today is not a dry time. Man, it, this, ever since the cemetery, this hike has been just so fun. Scrambling uh, over the waterfalls, uh, working around through all these water features. Great, great day hike. I think I'm at 3.7 miles right now, something like that. So 
got more. I'll turn around and hop it back out in a little bit. But right now, we're gonna have lunch sitting probably right there on that rock. Maybe that rock. One of these rocks. Which is a ticket for us. But <laughs> lunch for me. Gotta love some fresh berries. Picked them along the trail. <laughs> I'm just kidding. They're gummies. You don't got some candy out here. <laughs> anyway. That's it for lunch. Snickers and more candy so time to pack up my little pack and uh head on back down the trail a side note i should have thought about um <laughs> if you're up here and the water's gushing real good probably shouldn't stay too long because you do not want to overstay your welcome coming down that and the one above it was really sketchy because the water i don't know maybe you can see it from when i recorded it earlier is flowing a lot harder now so i need to get my butt out of here cross back over those two streams and get up above this stuff um not in any worry of like a flash flood or nothing it's not like that but uh the water's definitely rising um and you don't want to be climbing up and down stuff like that so anyway i didn't fall i made it but it was just kind of sketchy so crossing this heading back over down there and i'll cross the, the creek twice and then um back on the trail for uh getting on home all right now i'm gonna take my own advice and cut this off Well, I'm safely past the water crossings and up high trekking along this really fun little section of trail with the water down below me. Very nice. And, uh, yeah, I'll make a stop by the cemetery, get that on camera, and then it's, um, three miles climbing out of this, uh, canyon. But, uh, like I said earlier, I don't anticipate those three miles to be particularly brutal because yes you got little up sections but there's also a lot of little flat areas to speed across so good little trip and uh i'm really just filming because i think this section is cool so <laughs> instead of filming quietly i'm blabbering i mean look at that rocks water river down there trees to maneuver Every little man's dream. <laughs> All right. Next up, cemetery. Well, this is Clark Cemetery, uh, which I'm gonna show very respectively, respectfully. And these little headstones. You don't wanna. You don't wanna step on anybody. I get to the big one here. Clearly very old. I just can't see a date on there. Um, 1835, born 1881, passed away. Joseph Clark. I don't know if that really picks up or not. It's very hard to read. But, uh, 1881. And there's more headstones through here, but I want to get out. There's actually a campground where that picnic table is, is one of the campgrounds here. I probably wouldn't stay there. It's actually quite nice. It's flat. It's by the field. You can see fire rings. But, uh, yeah, I don't know. I mean, 
right by the headstones here. I'll go this way. It doesn't really seem like I'll step on anybody. All right. Popping out. It's a very pretty place to rest in peace, I guess. Um, anyway, while I have this pulled up, I'm going to catch that uh, campground, which is literally right beside the cemetery. Great water source. This is a nice campground. I, don't know. I might stay there. Right. Yeah. Obviously, I just walked out of the cemetery right over to the campground. Hmm. Southwind Trails right there. That goes along the top of the, um, you know, of the walls of Jericho and the the water features. Not something I'm gonna do now. It's about one o'clock, and I'm. I got three miles to huff out of here and then I got to drive to Huntsville. So, uh, yeah, I'm going to turn this off and I'll see you at the top. Well, I'm almost out. So I thought I'd comment on this grueling climb back up out. It's not bad at all. Actually, I think I'd put it on the lighter side of moderate. So, um, you know, if you use all trails like I do and you see a lot of reviews about, oh my God, I'm burning murdered out of here or, you know, it's dangerous or I got lost, stuff like that. Bollocks. Well, Mart, the people that designed this trail clearly made it to be the easiest way up and down. Cause like right now, I'm technically going up, but I'm going up at a very small grade. And it's like that pretty much the whole three miles. Um, I think more so than anything, it's probably the psychology of it that um, people really complain about because you think about it, you start a trail, you're coming down, it's easy and it's exciting. You're on a new trail. And then you get to the water, there's water, bridge, another bridge, a cemetery, meadows, and then there's this really cool little section of trail to the walls then obviously the walls themselves a lot of exciting stuff and then you come back all through that still really exciting but then you start back up and it's kind of like you know i got three miles of climbing without really any fun features so uh i think that more so than it actually being a bad climb is probably what gets people it's still pretty you know um, but anyway, that's my little comments on that. If you're reading and you're worried, just come out here and enjoy it. It's definitely worth the trip. And, uh, like I said, I'm pretty close to the top. Once I get there, I'll fire this little dude back up one more time and put a wrap on the walls of Jericho. All right. Um, back at the trailhead of the walls of Jericho clocked in at seven and a half miles five stars um awesome trip all the way around um especially when you get down in there and that little trail up to the walls and all the little fun stuff to do really great trip as far as backpacking this is not really enough trail the backpack I mean I guess you, I mean you obviously could and I'm out I was actually thinking on the way up here like maybe this would be a good place to take my daughter to do an overnight, you know, kind of ease her into the deal. But as far as day hiking, fantastic place to go. And last comment about the climb up. My comments, you gotta understand, are coming from a man that is very much average in health shape. I fall in the category of love the hike every time, every chance I get but also really love pizza and cheeseburgers. So, <laughs> and I felt like it was on the easy side of moderate, so it's all good. That's a wrap. Walls of Jericho, great trip, beautiful day.